Some sequels just weren't meant to be. Wait a minute, I thought all you did was kill innocent people. Innocent? Is that supposed to be funny? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 canceled movie sequels. For this list, we're taking a look at movie follow-ups that were supposed to go into production, but ultimately never saw the light of day. Can't afford to take the risk. <laughs> Number 10, The Mortal Instruments, City of Ashes. You can hang your head out the window if you need to. I'm a werewolf, not a golden retriever. Many young adult novels have translated into big bucks on the big screen. For every Hunger Games, though, there's a dud like the mortal instruments. The werewolves are here to save us. I never thought I'd say that. That's not to say Cassandra Clare's best-selling series didn't have the potential to inspire an epic film franchise, but Constantine Films' adaptation of City of Bones was dead on arrival. Jace Whalen, Demon Hunter. Uh, Simon Lewis, Keymaster. Are you the gatekeeper? I have no idea what you're talking about. Before the film hit theaters, the studio had already announced that the follow-up, City of Ashes, would come out one year later. Sigourney Weaver was even on board to star. Well, somebody's gonna have to go out there. After City of Bones failed to connect with audiences, however, the sequel was postponed indefinitely. Nevertheless, the franchise found a second life on television, with the fantasy series Shadowhunters premiering in 2016. All right, guys, for some reason, our demon friends are killing mundanes and draining their blood. Why do they want blood? Isn't that vampire territory? Number nine, Green Lantern 2. What the hell? Just because a movie has a mid credit scene doesn't automatically guarantee a sequel. The long-awaited Green Lantern feature film was not only expected to be the first in a trilogy, but also a launching point for DC's cinematic universe. Those plans were dashed, however, when the film bombed at the box office and received dismal reviews. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Following the disappointment of Green Lantern, Warner Brothers decided to greenlight Man of Steel, which officially kicked off the DC Extended Universe. You think you can my mother! <laughs> A Green Lantern Corps movie has since been announced, although we won't see that film until at least 2020. <laughs> Don't do that. Meanwhile, Ryan Reynolds has moved on with another superhero. And please don't make the super suit green. Or animated. Number eight, Dread 2. You got five. Thanks for the heads up. Unlike some of the other films on this list, 2012's Dread was truly worthy of a follow-up. Despite receiving a positive response from critics and eventually spawning a cult following, the film just didn't fill seats at the theaters. Defense noted. Maybe this was due to poor marketing or maybe that Sylvester Stallone movie forever alienated audiences. I am the law. In any case, Dread was a box office letdown and diminished any hope for a planned sequel. Had the film inspired a trilogy, Screenwriter Alex Garland expressed interest in tackling the origins and democracy story arcs. While fans are keeping their fingers crossed for a TV continuation, another theatrical movie isn't coming anytime soon. Your show, rookie. You tell me. Number seven, who discovered Roger Rabbit? Jumping tapers, what happened? Who framed Roger Rabbit was one of the biggest hits of 1988. So obviously, Disney was eager to make a follow-up. Risking my neck for you. What are you doing? Singing and dancing! At one point, there were plans for a prequel entitled Roger Rabbit The Toon Platoon. This origin story would have taken place in 1941, as Roger sets out to rescue Jessica from Nazi occupied Europe. Okay, nobody move! All right, we go grab some sky and let the judge have it. Later retitled Who Discovered Roger Rabbit? The Nazi subplot was dropped, and the focus shifted to Roger's rise to fame. Give me another excuse to pump you full of lead. Shortly after shooting test footage, though, the project was deemed too expensive and was canceled. Roger Rabbit creator Gary K. Wolf is still interested in pursuing a sequel, but it's probably safe to say that's all, folks. That's all, folks. Number six, Fantastic Four Two. It's who we are now. Maybe it's who we're meant to be. After the previous Fantastic Four movies failed to deliver, 20th Century Fox aimed to rewrite the sins of the past with the confusingly titled Fant4Stick. 
The studio had so much confidence in this reboot that they scheduled the sequel for a 2017 release. Alas, they totally jumped the gun. So, this is where you've been hiding now. Wait, stop. Let me explain. In addition to taking home a Razzie for Worst Picture, this reboot was the second biggest financial flop of 2015. As a result, nobody was surprised when Fox removed the proposed sequel from their release schedule. Right, it's clobbering time! Maybe Marvel Studios will finally do this franchise justice if they ever claim the film rights. Until then, we implore Fox to leave the first family of comics alone. Oh yeah, this one is definitely going on Instagram. Number 5. Gump & Co. Hello. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. In 1986, Winston Groom published a little novel entitled Forrest Gump. His book would inspire the 1994 film of the same name, which went on to become a box office sensation and a Best Picture winner. Run, At the height of the film's success, Groom decided to continue Forrest's adventures in another novel, Gump & Co. In 2001, screenwriter Eric Roth completed a script based on Groom's sequel. This follow-up would have worked in a ton of self-referential humor, with Forrest actually meeting Tom Hanks. You have a dream, Forrest? Not who you're gonna be. Who I'm gonna be? I'm, yeah. Aren't I going to be me? After the 9-11 terrorist attacks, though, the sequel suddenly lost relevance and was scrapped. Stupid is, stupid does, sir. Paramount briefly revisited the script in 2007, but nothing ever came of this. Still, we wouldn't mind seeing Forrest Gump 2, Gump Harder. Mr. President, I'm Forrest Gump, owner of Bubba Gump Shrimp. Shrimp? I love shrimp. Number 4. The Amazing Spider-Man 3 You want me to come down there so you can kill me? Yes! In order to keep the film rights to Spider-Man, Sony had to make another movie ASAP. When Spider-Man 4 failed to get off the ground, it was decided to reboot the franchise altogether. Although The Amazing Spider-Man performed fairly well, its 2014 sequel ultimately fell short of expectations. Rubbing it, okay. At least two more Amazing Spider-Man sequels were lined up, but audiences just weren't biting. Thus, Sony abandoned their plans for a cinematic universe and finally struck a deal with Marvel Studios. Tom Holland made his MCU debut as Spidey in Captain America Civil War, providing a fresh start for the character. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Peter. Tony. What, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing here? Now that Peter Parker is in Marvel's hands, it's only fitting that his next film will be titled Spider-Man Homecoming. Hey, everyone. Good job. Number 3. Ghostbusters 3. Hey, anybody see a ghost? Ghostbusters 3 could simply never escape development hell. Although this wasn't due to a lack of trying. The line is totally blank. Over the course of nearly 25 years, numerous potential ideas were thrown around. One premise involved the Ghostbusters venturing to hell, while another would have focused on Peter Venkman becoming a ghost. Dan Aykroyd was hell-bent on getting the gang back together, but Bill Murray was always a holdout. Sorry. This isn't your lucky day. <laughs> Harold Ramis' death in 2014 was the final nail in the coffin, causing Aykroyd to finally give up on the sequel. Ray, man, face it, Ghostbusters doesn't exist. While Ghostbusters 3 might have been a lost cause, we did get a female-driven reboot in 2016. Whether or not it delivered is up to you to decide. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh did you want to? Sorry. sorry, I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. Number two, The Girl Who Played With Fire. I haven't seen. Leading up to the release of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, director David Fincher announced his aspirations to film the next two chapters back to back. The Girl Who Played with Fire was set to come out in 2013, but production was delayed due to script issues. Sony eventually decided to reboot the franchise by adapting The Girl in the Spider's Web, which takes place after the original Millennium Trilogy. May I kill him? Alicia Vikander is reportedly in contention to play Lizbeth Salander, although Rooney Mara could still reprise her Oscar-nominated role. Lie still. I've never done this before. And there will be blood. The girl who played with fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest may never get the Hollywood treatment. But you can always check out the Swedish film adaptations. Märk inte ord svara på frågan. Nej. Nej, vadå? 
before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. I want a car. Chicks dig the car. This is why Superman works alone. You wrote that the world doesn't need a savior. But every day I hear people crying for one. Wasn't it an old wise man who once said, one pot brave, three pots full? Brom would be proud of you. Number one, the golden compass, the subtle knife. Is that all? New Line Cinema was really banking on the golden compass to be the next Lord of the Rings, or at least the next Narnia. Well, who else is gonna do it? Besides, we're in this together now. Fans of Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials trilogy were generally displeased with this multi-million dollar adaptation, however complaining that the film removed the religious themes that made the source material so fascinating. If you do that, I can never be your demon. My demon? When the film disappointed at the North American box office, it just didn't make financial sense to produce the planned adaptations of The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Although The Golden Compass failed to get a sequel, Pullman's novels are still overflowing with potential. So let's hope the BBC moves forward with their television reboot of the franchise. I will serve you in your campaign until I am dead, or you have a victory. Do you agree with our list? What other movie sequels never got made? Nothing wrong with a man taking pleasure in his work. I won't deny my own personal desire to turn each sin against the sinner. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? I can't tell you, but it does rhyme with Pulverine.